On Monday Night Raw this week, WWE made the decision to reunite one of the greatest factions in WWE history with The Shield once again joining forces. Just a week after Roman Reigns made his return to the company, Roman and Seth Rollins spent the majority of the episode trying to get Dean Ambrose to bring the band back together, just one more time. And after the two men were on the wrong end of a 3 on 2 beatdown, the lunatic fringe ended up helping his brothers and reuniting the group. A 6 man tag team match has now been made official for Sunday's Fastlane pay per view which will see The Shield take on Bobby Lashley, Baron Corbin, and Drew McIntyre with Leo Rush in their corner in what should be a very good match. But what are the reasons WWE has rushed into another Shield reunion on the road to WrestleMania 35? To bolster the fast lane card, a fairly obvious reason for WWE bringing back the Shield is to simply make this Sunday's fast lane card better. While the show's obviously a B pay per view, it cannot be denied that's looking a little lackluster on paper. Throwing the return of the Shield onto the show instantly makes it more exciting and will certainly get more eyeballs to the show with the group being so popular and this being Roman Reigns first match back. WWE wants to make the road to WrestleMania as exciting as possible and therefore the company needs as many major matches and as much star power as possible, both of which the Shield helped with. It's the last shot. During Roman Reigns' show opening promo, he alluded to the fact that Dean Ambrose will not be re-signing with WWE once his contract expires in April marking the first moment that Amber's contract situation has been brought up on TV. While many people are still speculating over whether or not his contract situation is a work or legitimate, WWE has an obvious storyline to tell here that this will be the final SHIELD match to take place. If Ambrose really isn't going to resign, then this could legit be WWE's last chance to have a SHIELD reunion. And following Roman Reigns' major return now seems like a great chance to make it happen, to ease Roman back in. One of the reasons that WWE has decided to have a SHIELD match at Fastlane is to get Roman Reigns onto the pay-per-view in what will be his first match back since announcing his battle with leukemia. However, after such a lengthy absence in what has obviously been a mentally and physically exhausting period of time for him, it's unrealistic to expect that Roman Reigns will be able to work at the exact level he was at prior to taking time away. Therefore, WWE is being smart by just easing him back into ring action with a mixed tag team match, meaning he won't have to spend as much time in the ring carrying a match, allowing him to get back into the swing of things under slightly less pressure. This will help Roman lose any ring rust he has, coming in for the hot tags to clean house, ensuring that momentum firmly stays on his side, leaving the WWE Universe wanting to see more. WrestleMania 35 setup on the surface, a SHIELD reunion seems like a good time all around. However, there's a chance that there could be underlying reasons for the reunion of the Hans of Justice, especially with WrestleMania right around the corner. Of course, Seth Rollins' match at WrestleMania is already determined, with the King Slayer set to go one on one with Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship. However, Roman Reigns' surprise return to action has thrown a spanner in the works for WWE. The company needs to get the big dog onto the WrestleMania card for obvious reasons, and this match could be the way that WWE sets that up. According to Dave Meltzer, the original WrestleMania pants prior to Roman's illness were going to put him one on one with Dean Ambrose and it seems like WWE could be going back to that. There's a good chance that Ambrose could once again turn on his SHIELD brothers, Roman in particular, at Fastlane, setting up a simple story between them for a singles match that would help keep Roman as a firm babyface. With rumors that Ambrose might be choosing to re-sign with WWE after all, this would be a good showcase match to keep him happy. If not, it's a big match for him to finish his WWE career on. Of course, if WWE wants to keep Ambrose as a babyface and Roman working in multi-man matches, WWE could always continue this feud moving out of Fastlane with the handicap match possibly taking place on the graduate stage of the mall. Why do you think WWE has reunited the Shield? Let us know in the comment section below.